but he's left a legacy that won't be forgotten anytime soon. I'll say to this day, I'm almost 30 years into this thing and I've never coached one that had the instincts um, that he had. He believed in uh, going full speed. Uh, it didn't matter, you know, if we were at the beginning of practice or end of practice. If it was up to him, he was going to win that rep. Eugene Gino Hayes was a standout football player at Madison County High School. Moved up to varsity his freshman season, helping the Cowboys win a state title. There was nowhere he'd rather be than playing with the guys that he grew up with. And he made sure those guys didn't have to travel far to see him play. Gino was a standout at Florida State before a seven-year NFL career. He died Monday from liver disease. Gino was 33 years old. It makes you understand how valuable life is, how, how valuable every day is. I talked to some kids this morning, and, and that was the thing, is how do you want to be remembered? Because sometimes one day you're here, and then the next day you're gone. A legacy left behind of hard work. If you listen to him, he was a sophomore. He was going to Florida State. You know, he was saying that. Of grit. When he came through them doors on game day, he was fearless now. And of pride. He really believed that uh, the worst thing to do was embarrass his last name. He's left a legacy here of how to do things the right way, and he was a cowboy through and through. For updates on funeral arrangements for Gino, be sure to keep it locked right here to ABC 27. At Madison County High School, Allison Posey, ABC 27.